This video was made possible by the Content Creator Program. An MCOC champion is temporarily granted to select accounts for the purpose of allowing the community a first look at a new champion coming to the contest. All granted champions are removed from accounts before they are officially released to the community. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is a first look video of Guillotine 2099. So we're not going to go as in-depth as I will when I finally do get her permanently and can uh, play around with her a little bit more and learn a little bit more about her. But you're going to get my initial impressions of her at this time. Now there are some people that already got the champion as a prize, New York City Comic Con. So there's already gameplay videos and videos on her, but this is my initial impressions, all right? So first we're going to take a look at her attributes and then we're gonna talk about her synergies, one in particular. All right, so they're champion tags. Keep in mind, this is only a rank three five star. Uh, switch over to percentages. Look at that critical damage rating. I like it, all right? And she's got a very nice crit rating as well. Uh, her block proficiency is very decent, like it. All right, now let's go to her synergies. And we're gonna talk about this AI uprising because that's the synergy that is gonna get nerfed. Yes, nerfed, she has not even gotten to the contest yet, but this version of her is not fixed or changed. Uh, you can see that the text says that she will gain 70% of a bar of power each time an immunity prevents an effect. Now, if you've watched some other videos, you can see how insane that is. Uh, I've been informed that that is not intended. They actually intended for her to trigger this ability once per fight. So that's what's making it really overpowered. Uh, what they're telling me, and we won't know for sure until it actually comes to the game, is that they're going to add a 12 second cooldown so that you'll continue to be able to use it repeatedly during the fight and they'll reduce the percentage. Uh, some of them are considering this an actual buff. Even though they are nerfing the power gain, they're adding something else so that overall the effect is that she is better than what they had originally planned to release. Whether that's true or not, we'll see your mileage may vary, all right? But that's the big boy item in her synergies. So I applaud Kabam for mentioning this before she went in the crystals or the arena. They didn't do that with Nick Fury and I made a video on that. I'm very happy to see them do this. I don't mind adjustments of champions as long as it happens before you spend your money to get these champions, all right? And next one here, our shared curse. Uh, she gets 30% degeneration potency, so she's going to do more degeneration damage. And then you have these, which are, uh, you know, some more attack and crit rating. But the big boy item was definitely the AI uprising. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and look a little bit on her abilities. Uh, her signature ability, you can see this is a level 200. And it says when guillotine would be struck, she has a 100% chance. And since it's in green, I'm assuming that that's going to scale up. So at SIG 200, it's 100%. And you're going to have a scale when it's less. So she'll have a, a less percentage chance. So she has a guaranteed chance when she's max SIG. So the four star at 99 should be the same. All right. Uh, she has a chance to gain a combo shield passive lasting two seconds uh, plus two additional seconds per digi soul and the cooldown is 60 seconds okay so it's not going to happen a lot but you really don't need it to happen a lot uh, while under the effects of the combo shield damage from incoming attacks excluding special three are capped at 10 percent of guillotine's max health so it's a little safeguard. It makes her a little bit more tanky. 
Whether that is essential for her, I don't know. It's not looking like that uh, because she has so much other uh, utility. Okay, so she's immune to bleed and poison. So right there, that means she is suicide friendly. Okay, uh, once per fight, when she drops below 15% health, and she has one, at least one, Digi Soul. She's going to heal. Okay. Uh, over four seconds. That is really nice. But get this uh, this ability triggers instantly when starting a fight below 15% health. That will save you some resources because if you go into a fight with her, all you have to do is pop a. a regen i mean a uh, revive and she's going to regen love it because she does start with digi souls okay uh if she's stunned during the repair connection is lost so that reminds me of ultron uh so if you're fighting her and you see her doing that that's how you stop it you got four seconds to do it all right her basic attacks she cannot land critical hits naturally that reminds me of two people. That reminds me of Crossbones and it reminds me of Ghost. There may be more, but those two come to my mind right away. Um, every time she would have landed a critical, uh, her sword strikes deep into the opponent's soul, inflicting a degeneration debuff, dealing direct damage. Okay, so let's talk about these Digi Souls. Uh, she starts the quest with two each of them providing plus 16% defensive power rate. Uh, Digi Souls are refunded after each fight and can be spent to enhance Guillotine Sword on the pre-fight screen. Yes, she has pre-fight abilities. At the start of the fight, if Guillotine has at least one Digi Soul, she gains an armor up buff. So that means she's a good counter for Havoc. All right. And this armor up buff lasts indefinitely. And if it's removed, it's going to reactivate after four seconds. So she is a good counter to have it. So here are her pre-fight sword empowerment abilities. Huntress function. Every 20th attack on the combo meter. See, this is where the combo shield comes into play. Every 20th hit, a, uh, a 20th attack on the combo meter, it's a guaranteed crit. Remember it said that she could not crit normally. Well, here's a way not normal on her normal attacks uh, that she can. Uh, if this attack is a special one or two, all hits of the attack are guaranteed to be a critical. So if you can time it right, you see that 19, fire off that special, and you're good to go. Uh, stability function, while above 99 hits in the combo meter, again, the combo shield, uh, medium attack steal life. Yes, life steal, but it steals life. Uh, 5% of the damage dealt. You see how tanky she is and sustainable. Very nice. Assault function while above 99 hits on the combo meter. Medium attacks burn 5% of the opponent's current power. So she also has some power control. So based on your opponent, you can choose before the fight starts how you're going to deal with them. If you need power control, activate the assault function. If you need to heal up a little bit, then stability function. And if you just want to do a little bit more damage, huntress function. I like her. Heavy attacks have a 100% chance to gain a combo shield passive lasting indefinitely. The max are two stacks plus an additional two for every digisoul when struck a combo shield is removed so seeing as how you have to gain as we see up here you have to gain at least 99 you know 100 rather uh to get this that is really good i wish star lord had something like that built into him it'd be much nicer okay so here we go with her combo meter abilities. Uh, her attack rating increases with each hit of her combo meter. So again, Star-Lord, Aegon. Uh, at a combo of 100 plus, her sword becomes empowered, dealing a burst of 28 direct damage, you know, 
uh, for each hit above 100, scaling with the base attack and capping after 600 hits. That's a lot of hits. Whew. All right, when attacked by a light or medium attack, 15% chance to activate Digi Cloak. Uh, that's when you see her do that. When you, If you fought her in Uncollected, you've seen her do that. And causing all unblocked, uh, unblocked attacks to miss. Cooldown is 10 seconds after each use, and each time Guillotine is knocked down. So that gives you a little clue into how to deal with her uh, when she is cloaked. I usually just wait it out. While fighting mutant opponents, the, clo uh, the cooldown is reduced by 50%, and its chance to activate is doubled. All right, and here are her special attacks. Uh, the final strike of special one drains their power. So again, some power control. Uh, increasing to 40% uh, per Digisoul if the attack doesn't make contact with the opponent. Interesting. Uh, special two on activation, 100% chance to inflict a Spectre debuff. Reducing the opponent's regeneration rate by 120 for 12 seconds. That seems interesting uh, against healers. I wonder how she'll do against Wolverine in Realm of Legends. Uh, I don't know if I'll have enough time uh, to get there, but we'll see. Uh, and her special attack three, if the opponent is at or below 5% of their max health, this attack knocks them out. No more 1% bug. If they are low and you hit them with the special three, they going down. And it cannot be prevented or reduced. Very nice. Uh, and if Guillotine uses this attack to knock out her opponent, their soul is digitized and absorbed, allowing her to start the next fight with 100 hits in her combo meter. So you want to do that. And it reminds me a little bit of uh, Morningstar, where you might want to fire off the special three to gain that soul. So overall, so far that I'm looking at, she's a really interesting champion and it looks like she's going to be very good. All right, so let's get to some gameplay. All right, so as you can see, we're going to go in with just guillotine, no synergies. We're not even going to play with that synergy. It wouldn't have come into play, I don't believe, anyway, because Winter Soldier does not have any immunities. All right, so as you can see, she starts with two of the Digi Souls. All right, and she is a rank three. Now, let's see here. These are her pre-fight abilities. We talked about this already. So for this particular uh, attack, we're going to go ahead and we don't need the power. We don't really need the lifesteal. So let's go for some damage. Okay. And let's get in here and I'll show you guys you know her specials and we'll see you know just how she feels oh look at that now I like swords I love them so I already am predisposed to like guillotine anyway all right oh boy and I get hit right off the bat there goes the combo shield so what I probably should do fire off that heavy quick heavy okay got two combo shields there we go Woo. pretty and you saw the guaranteed crit now I can't tell you whether I'm playing her the best way to play her or anything like that we're just uh, checking her out here Seeing that degen damage, looking nice. All right, I'm gonna try to build up to the special three. Now, keep in mind, I am running suicides. So the damage that you see is enhanced by that. Do you guys see the digital shield she's going, uh, she's putting up? That's very interesting. You see it? It's a little face. Skull. All right. Uh, 
I like it. This is pretty nice. She is very fun to play right now. So I've got the combo shield up. So hopefully we won't have to deal with that anymore. All right. Getting some good damage in. Fire that off there. And I'm not even paying attention to the guaranteed crit combo meter. See, there's the guaranteed crit popped up. Let's see if we can't do that. All right. It's five. So we're going to try to do four hits. One, two, three, four. All right, there we go. I think I did that wrong. I think I counted it wrong. I thought I had to wait till the guaranteed crit popped up. But apparently not. Okay, so let's uh, try that again. Okay, so that was the guaranteed crit, I guess. All right, so at 159, let's try to do it again. Uh, we might not be able to. One, two, three, four. So this should be all crits, I guess. Don't know. I don't think, uh, yeah, I don't think your, your special three can crit. So let's try it again. We'll do it with a uh, special one. Three, four, five. There we go. There it is. Woo! Thank you, combo shield. So you got to see the combo shield in action. Fire off that uh, heavy, because we don't want that to happen no more. Okay. So now we got it. Let's get to 199. One, two, fire that off. Oh, yeah. There it is. Okay. So we got it. You got to see me fumble my way through, play around with how that works. So uh, you want to get just below the you know, 20th hit every 20 hits. Uh, so you fire the special off when it's going to be that 20th or multiples of uh, 20 uh, hit on your combo meter. And you want to fire your heavies off to get that combo shield. I like her, I like her a lot. I really wish I could go for her as a five star, but I know better. I think she's gonna go pretty high. Okay, so here's my synopsis of Guillotine. This is just my initial impressions. Uh, first of all, the pros, she is suicide friendly. Not the most friendly of the suicide friendly group, but the fact that she is bleed and poison immune, which is the next pro, uh, makes her suicide friendly. So you can go full suicides, but that recoil damage is still going to eat you up. I thought that her lifesteal might uh, help counter that, but more on that in a moment. Uh, she's got power control. Uh, through her pre-fight ability, one of the pre-fight abilities. And that sustainability, that lifesteal is a nice to have. And when she dips below 15%, one time per fight, she heals up. And she'll start with a heal, as long as she has a soul, uh, if she starts a fight below 15%. So she's got some decent sustainability. Uh, her damage, she's got some good damage. Uh, she is somewhat of a ramp up champion it looks like and you will need to activate her pre-fight ability where she gets the uh, guaranteed crits if you want to do the most damage I'm thinking and the longer the fight goes on the more damage she's going to do all right so she's great for long fights and her damage does ramp up quite nicely 
Uh, she gets this armor up buff, which makes her a good counter for Havoc. Havoc cannot place those plasma charges when they have an armor up buff. And that digit cloak that she has makes her a little more tanky, uh, gives her almost like a ghost-like defense for a little bit. Not quite as good as ghosts. All right, now the cons, I didn't have a lot of cons that I saw uh, other than I took her out and I, ha I will have a video on this later, but I took her out into some questing. I wanted to test out her life steal and it did seem a bit weak. Now, I don't know, that could be because of uh, her ranking that might get really good later. Uh, there may be some synergies that I can use that might help it out, but it seemed a little weak. My recoil damage, it wasn't able to keep up with that, it seems. Uh, but that should go up with the attack. You know, more attack, more damage, uh, the more she'll steal because it's a percentage of the damage that she's dealt. So anyway, that's my initial impressions. She's really good. Uh, I would go for her myself. I may open a few crystals when she comes around, uh, hoping to get her. But that's going to do it, guys. Hopefully you found this informative and it helps you in your decision whether to go for her in the arena or the crystals. So take care. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.